All right, team, here is the next play, and this next play is called I, Trips I, like the letter I. And why it's called I is because our center, this guy right here, he's going to flash up and land right about here, high up, just above the elbow, above the high post. So he's going to flash and jump to dot his eye and catch the high post pass. Now, our post entry on, on an eye call can be a change up or it can be regular or our basic post entry. So we can go when the pass comes here. I don't want that. When the ball regular wing our guard swings it to our wing, we can now have our post flash high. And when it gets here, the ball is now going to move. And he's going to move to catch it with in a jump stop position. And he'll now have two feet to pivot with. So here's our eye action. And now what happens is we, when that ball is moving here, our power forward and our center are going to play a game of buddy ball. And this particular pass, while he's flashing up, our power forward is going to come right across to get this pass right here. Okay, and it gives our power forward an opportunity to drop step and make the shot. And there you go. Now, if that is not there, at the same time that our power forward is coming across, our guard is shifting over and he's waiting. And if that pass didn't happen, let's say our center didn't make the pass, he's going to fill up right here. Our guard is going to try to backdoor cut to get to the hoop for buddy action right there. And if neither of those two options are available, if none of those two options are available, we are going to do a reset. And it's a, a switch up reset in terms of position. What's going to happen is our small forward or wing is going to do a wing cut not really looking for the ball but just to get onto the other side of the court okay and our guard is going to fill the eagle position and our shooting guard is going to come up here for this pass right here now our shooting guard is going to get it out of the fire and we can either run it if our shooting guard understands the understands how to play the point guard's position. Our shooting guard can now be the point guard and our point guard can now be the eagle if our point guard understands how to play the eagle position. And that's why we practice multiple positions. So now we're in triangle on the other side and our shooting guard can run wing here. Okay. I cut, pass, jump stop catch, boom, buddy action, boom, pass inside for the power forward, maybe he goes baseline or maybe he has to turn or maybe he just has to shoot it. If that's not there, our guard is coming over and looking to dive back door for this pass right here. And if that's not there, then same thing. Our shooting forward now cut spread cuts coming across. We're not looking to pass to that to that one. Okay, and our point guard comes high, gets the pass, probably gets the pass more so over here just so it's a safer pass. And our shooting guard goes back to eagle. And now we're on the other side. We reset position wise and we can run it. And our guard can bring it out of the fire. And we're back in triangle again. Now, 
The other way to do the eye cut, and I could have said this earlier, I could have talked about this on, on the second side, but we're on the third side now. We can do a change up in the eye play and have our guard go straight to our center by having our center flash to the ball to get that pass directly from our guard. On, while the pass is in the air, our power forward is cutting back door to get the ball here. Buddy action. Boom. If it's there, great. If not, he fills away. He cuts back door. If that's there, great. If not, and again, this all happens together at the same time. He spread cuts. Doesn't look for the pass. Might be there. He might get pass and just for some reason might be wide open. Okay. And he fills here. Gets the pass. And we're in it. And he's dribbling to the other side. Getting out of the fire. And he is resetting here. He's resetting here. And he flashes high for the pass. Boom. Buddy action. Boom. Not there. Backside or weak side action. While that's happening. He's looking there. Not there. Spread cut. Fill. Not there. Comes back up. Boom. So that's the eye, and that's the last one. It's not complicated. It's just a, a change of pattern, a change of how we would move, getting our center and our, our post players, our power involved in the play. We're moving, so there's lots of player movement. There's lots of ball movement. Uh, and eventually what's going to happen is if we don't score on one side and it's not there, we're learning not to force a pass because eventually someone's going to be wide open. We're able to learn how to move so that we are able to change to the second side of the floor, to the other side of the floor, the top half of the floor, and our guard can get it all through the fire and we can try running it on the other side. And if it's not there, we're able to run it, run it through and get to the other side, the third side of the floor, back to the original side and run it. And eventually all that movement confuses the defense so much that they're out of place and it leads to some open pass and might not be what's in the pattern because you might find just wide open guys like we've seen in our games guys slip into wide open spots and, and they're available to score let's run this through and see what we got wing pass back door power forward not there then the guard shifted over. He's going back door for that option. If that's not there, we get a spread cut. He's not looking for the ball. And we're going to get the guard to fill corner. And our shooting guard is going to come to the top. Or eagle is going to come to the top. Get it out of the fire. I didn't mean to demonstrate that pass into the fire like that. Okay. Eye cut from the wing. Back door. Not there. Or it's there. If it's there, great. Okay. The wing shifting over. He's cutting back door. We're looking for that. That might be there. If not, spread cut. He comes across. Our guard comes up. Our shooting guard fills to the eagle position. Our point guard gets it across the fire and swings it. Now we're looking for an eye cut straight up from guard to center. We got buddy play on the same side. Not there. A backdoor option. Not there. Spread cut. They fill, our guards come up, and we get it through the fire again. And our center and our power forward fill their, to their hashes. He eye cuts back door, buddy action there, not there. Back door cut, nothing there, it's there. Spread cut and a fill cut, not there. Our point guard comes up, gets the ball, and there's the pattern, guys. So, enjoy these plays. We will work on them along with all of your guys' skills to make you better players. I'm excited, having a ton of fun. Hope you guys are too. 
and we will talk about twins in the next few videos.